the cunning of Suma Yi, managed to eliminate Gong Sun Yuan. Not knowing the limits of his strength, he had turned his back on Wei and declared himself the King of Yan. Unable to control his anger towards this fool, Suma Yi was reminded of another man. The unparalleled tactician that had fallen at the Wujang Plains, Zhuge Liang. Once his star had faded, the land had changed dramatically. Within Wei, Cao Rei succeeded Cao Pi as emperor and began a rule of greed and opulence. While within Wu, they watched the struggle between Wei and Shu as they stabilized their own country and strengthened their defenses. Meanwhile, determined to rebuild its strength, Shu remained quiet as it recovered. It was then that Cao Rei of Wei died and was replaced by the young Cao Feng. Supporting Cao Feng were the Wei general Cao Shuang and none other than Suma Yi. However, Suma Yi willingly gave up his authority and decided to retire instead. For he felt that dividing power between two people would only lead to chaos within the government. In addition, with Zhuge Liang gone, there were none who could match his intellect. Realizing this fact during his battle against Gong Sun Yuan, he later disappeared from the public eye. And so, as the lone authority of Wei, Cao Shuang moved to attack Shu in the hope of returning Wei to its former glory. Suma Yi refused to participate in this battle and dispatched his son, Suma Zhao, in his stead. It was a sign of how much he missed having a worthy opponent. ambush troops here but that means these supplies <sighs> it's a little dark for map reading isn't it who are you again my name is Dung Ai my lord I have had the honor of speaking with your father on several occasions <laughs> is that right I have something I wish to discuss with you, my lord. What is it you want to say? Forgive me, but would you be willing to speak to our lord on my behalf? We have been short on provisions since our last campaign. Our first order of business should be to find some nice, fertile land. The enemy is clearly reading our every move. We should prepare for a surprise attack. I suppose you already mentioned this to him and he ignored you. Well, he's not much of a listener. Even if it's coming from me, he's just going to say the same thing. Perhaps, but you're the only chance I've got. <sighs> How do I always get myself caught up in these things? Thank you, my lord. I wish you luck. My lord, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Ah, there you are, Suma Zhao. I have an important mission for you. I want you to launch a surprise attack on the enemy supply base and secure provisions for our men. If I do, then our defenses here will be thin. I think it best if we prepare for an attack by the enemy and strengthen our defenses. You're not the first one to mention that to me. You must have spoken with Dung Ai. There is no way the enemy will try to attack us. They have no idea what we are up to. Enough. I order you to go and attack the supply base. Understood? <sighs> I suppose I don't have much of a choice. This has 
all gone wrong, Deng Ai. Lord Cao Shuang wants us to raid the enemy supply depots. I apologize, but I am still worried that the enemy will spring a night raid. I hope they do. That'd teach him. Come on, we'd better get moving. The supply depots are to the northwest. We must approach undetected. are looking very good for us. The skill we displayed on the battlefield inspires us all to carry out our duty. Fight me now! For glory! Retreat! This is not the end! That is almost too easy. Defenses have been wiped out by a fire attack. Fight me now for glory. Try and stop me. We must retreat. This is not the end. That was almost too easy. You are shining brightly as a result of your efforts out there. Our Lord is struggling. He won't last much longer. All right, all right, I get it. I have to help him, right? So much out. I suppose you've come to laugh at me. You were right, and I was wrong. I wouldn't do that. So what do you want to do? I think our chances of winning are pretty much gone. I know that. All forces retreat! The enemy seems to be...
be coming from the north. We must take the western gate and head south. You have your father's eye for strategy. The western gate, you say? Very well. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Yeah! inspires us all to carry out our duty. To this. It looks like we'll have to take care of them. How could this be? It's as if your actions out there have cured me of all my ailments. Come, we must hurry. Our Lord needs us. Of course he does. The situation is dire. You believe your wits are a match for mine? I shall return. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! That was almost too easy. Never thought I'd it. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Fire us all. The battle is in 
isn't over yet. We've been roused to action once again. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. You are perhaps the most magnificent warrior I've ever seen. You believe your wits are a match for mine? The Night Ring. The tenacious waves of attack. I'd say they have quite the strategist leading them. That would be me. And I'm here to claim your head. Your withdrawal is almost complete. You're not getting past me. This one looks like a real pain in the neck. Don't I? I'll leave him to you. Surely, just my lord. I thought you might come. Stop me. We could use some assistance to turn back the enemy. Hey, I'm just as serious as anybody out here. I repeat. Oh. That'll do. Pull out! Well, it looks like we got away clean in the end. But the general may prove a problem. I suppose I should go and report on what happened to my father. Most impressive, my lord. You reminded me of your father out there today. What? Come on, don't say things like that. Right, let's move on out of here. He defeats the enemy with assured decision making and retreats by the safest route. It seems the Suma family is the only one that can reunite Wei. Everybody demanded the return of the cunning strategist they had known.